So, um, fast forward 1992, no, I'm sorry, 1993, 94, whatever it was, somewhere in 93, 94, uh, there was a model block program because Texas Wesleyan had finally decided we're going to stick around. We're not going to move. They had that property over on the west side uh, outside of 820 and they were planning on moving because they were just tired of being in this violent community. And, you know, that, there's a whole lot, lot there to be said about, you know, their commitment to the community and how long it took them to fully commit again. But when they committed again, they said, City of Fort Worth, we need your help. You've got to fix these streets. We've got to organize this community. We've got to have a community that's responsible for their own selves. And they awarded about a $5 million bo uh, block program, model block program. And what they called it was the Polytechnic Wesleyan Educational Corridor. And that it's unique in that you have Poly High School, William James Middle School, and Texas Wesleyan University, a high school, a middle school, and a university, all within three blocks of one another. And the goal was let's take this area between these schools and let's clean it up. And Fort Worth said, let's spend this money over there. So my mom calls and says, Mijo, there's, there's this um, uh, people from the city, they're, they say they're going to spend money and they're going to have a meeting at the, at the police station over at NPD 6 on Nashville. And can you come because I need you to translate the meeting. No big deal, it's what I've been doing my whole life. So I say, okay, so I walk in, neighborhood meeting, walk in to go translate. When I walked out, I was the neighborhood president. And just like that, it all started, you know, and it was at that time, Judy Bell, who was uh, working with uh, um, Jerome Walker, housing and economic development coordinator at the time. He asked that I just that I organize and, and we did and we organized and the way we organized was just to get people to the meetings and then we started a little festival and we started a little parade and it was the uh, 16 de September festival. Um, we started it around, you know, Latino and Mexican culture and uh, our meetings were always packed and uh, we did, uh, we did, uh, we did a really good job and uh, the, the city spent um, the vast majority of that money, about 90% of it, and then they told us they were out of money and uh, about two years after the construction stopped, uh, and this is where I actually got my start in politics. Uh, or I shouldn't say like politics, that's how I got in my sort of political activism, is I, 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 was re I normally play golf on Sundays. And on this particular Sunday, I read the entire paper, and I was in the classifieds, and I didn't need a car or a dog, and I'm reading the classifieds, and I get to the very back of the, back, back of the classifieds, and no one reads the very back, and that's where the public notice section is. I'm reading the freaking public notice section. Why, I have no idea. And there it was, two notices, uh, one was for approximately 270000 and another was 240000 It was over half a million dollars in funds that were going to be moved from the El Poli Pyramid neighborhood, because it's El Poli, the, the Poli Pyramid Neighborhood Association, to the Fairmount Neighborhood Association. And I lost it. And the next day I went to Jerome Walker's office and said, how in the world could they take money from our side of town and ship it to another? Because this is what we'd experience at all times. You always take it from us and send it somewhere else. And how did he let this happen? And his claim was that TPW never sent a bill and that now it was too late and that if they didn't move the money, it they were going to lose it. And this program was already ready to go. They, it, it was just the money to be spent immediately. And my response was, so is ours. And you never gave us our street lights, the period style lights, and you never finished the tree canopies because they were supposed to plant trees all along Nashville and Rosedale and so on. And you didn't do it. And I told him that the next day I was going to speak before city council and made me promise not to, that if I didn't speak the next day, that he would find the money, that he promised me he'd find the money. And he brought an engineer in his office at that moment and he said, you tell me where you want the lights. And we designed the light system and he found the money and he got it all done. And I was furious. I was furious because number one, they'd taken money, they still moved it, and somehow he was able to find a half a million dollars. And it just what didn't seem cool. And TPW never sends a bill for two and a half years or three years. I just seemed like so disorganized. And right then I said, I'm going to run for city council because this is not the way we should be running our city. This is not the way money should be spent. And this is exactly how our communities always only get 90% of what they're worth. And, and, it, and it happened. I mean, it took me years before I ever ran for city council. But that was sort of the impetus for why it was going to happen because I was just so angry. Um, because that's what we have to do. We always just have to fight just to even get our fair share. 